Welcome back guys to another beer review. Uh, something a little bit different now. Uh, I'm a little bit lagered out. I've done all these lagers and light drinks. Miserable outside. I fancy something a little bit heavier now. And uh, this is a little bit different for me. I haven't done, whew, I think some of my early videos, uh, sort of like five months ago, were these sort of styles of beers. And uh, I'm heading back to them. I'm heading back to them. Although this one is still supermarket available. So uh, I'll shut up. Just to let, as you can see, old Beak has just come along to be nosy tonight. He's... He's a funny old bugger, is he? Every now and then he wants to join in. Uh, I'm looking, look at that, bloody t-shirts. Never iron them, never iron them. Uh, so yeah, anyway, let's get on with this bloody beer review, innit? Uh, next up is, and I've, I've had this before, never actually thought about it, although it's really tasty anyway, or so I remember. But I've never actually thought about it or reviewed it, and uh, it's a West Mile Double, uh, coming in at 7% in a 330ml bottle. Uh, this was from Tesco's £2.10. And obviously you can't have a Belgian beer without the proper glassware for me. I'm not going to knock anyone that don't, but you know, just work of art, right? I'll tell you what, that was 450 450 I think, and that glass is huge it's solid it it really is a work of art it, uh, these belgium glasses are worth every bloody penny you spend on them you just hope that the beer is good enough to go in it so uh yeah i'll shut up now uh we'll get on with the review west mile trap uh trappist double seven percent uh i like the old traditional sort of label i do love the west mile trappist double have i got that the right way around and if you can see that, that's a lovely bottle cap. Love the bottle as well. Uh, what does it say? Trappist Den Beer or something. It's got like a ridge on that. Even the bottle's classy. Everything's classy about this. The cap, the label, the bottle and the glass. So I'm going to shut the hell up because I'm probably boring you lot shit this now. And we are going to get... Oh, shit. We are gonna get, we are gonna get this beer in the old glass. You can hear the fizz on that pouring that in. It makes a big difference having that beer in that right glass, you know. And everyone says Belgium ales, yeah, they're gassy, they're fizzy. They are. Look at the shape of the glass. When you pour that, that comes out so much. You get a good head on it. You know, if you're in a narrow glass, that head's going to be twice as thick. So uh, that's where these glasses make a difference, you know. You get a lot of people saying about the bloody the pores they get, but there really is a little, there, there really is a bit of science in these glasses for a lot of these Belgian beers. So anyway, that's it. The beer's in a glass. Look at that. That is a lovely, I know it might look black, but that is a, a real deep chestnut mahogany colour. I can't see any carbonation. I can sort of see a bit of light bleeding through the bottom. It's hazy. It's a slightly off white, lovely creamy, slight, as I said, slightly off white tan if you like. Off white, slightly off white. This refuse going tits up, isn't it? Lovely head on there. It's not going anywhere. Beer looks lovely. You look the part holding the glass with the beer as well. So, excuse me. Four minutes in, let's dive in. Oh. Rich. Oh. Almost a sort of dark, fruity kind of thing. Sort of like, how can I put it? Sort of figgy kind of aroma in there. Rich. Malty, no real, there's no real hint of that 7% in the nose. It just smells comforting. I wouldn't say, not even sort of sweet in there. You get that with a lot of the Belgium sort of beers and the yeast. 
a little bit of Belgium yeast maybe in there in the aroma, but not not massive. So uh, I'll tell you what, let's just shut up and dive in. And cheers, everyone. Ta. Mm. Oh. Mm. People think about the Belgian beers. They're basically the blondes are like a golden ale, if you like. In inking, if if you're trying to get near what a Belgian beer is like, the blondes are like a golden ale, if you like. Uh, and then you've got the doubles, triples that tend to be double the ingredients, double, you know, uh, to make it stronger. The triples again and the quadruples, but you do get the darker ones. This double is a dark one. So smooth to drink, extremely smooth. Now I've not had anything like this for a while. So for me, I'm picking up a little bit of booziness in there, very little. Lots of little carbonation in your mouth. Not as smooth as I remember it, but it is smooth in the mouth. I'm picking, let's try and, that sort of yeastiness on the, on the front end. As soon as it touches, touches me mouth, I'm getting that yeastiness in there. I'm kind of getting It's room temperature this, but I'm getting kind of a warm, nutty, earthy feel to it. Uh, rich taste to it. I'm not, I'm not picking lots out on it to be honest uh, or struggling to sort of define them but there's a rich earthiness to it uh, there's the, the, that bit of yeastiness at the start it's rich it's heavy it's indulgent There's like, how can I put it? it, it it's 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 not quite rich, dark toffee caramel notes. It's not it's not quite that. It's oh, how can I put it? Gives you the same feeling as as if some of the beers you drink, where you get the dark, you know, the dark beers you have, you have the toffee caramel notes. But I'm not really getting that sort of taste to it. But it's reminding me of that. Uh, it's a lovely drink. It's a lovely drink. And it's seven percent. Are you getting that? You're not getting the seven. You know it's there. That, that little bit. Of strength to it very drinkable very very drinkable uh, and it's one of the this is one of them I'll tell you what maybe it's just the mood I'm in I'm in quite a relaxed chilled mood now I've just had my bath I'm in no rush to knock anything back but these are they're not session beers for me really yeah you could session them but these darker heavier ones are the ones you sit down and enjoy, excuse me there, a bit of Trappist wind there, uh, they're ones you sit down and enjoy, <laughs> indulging, 
just just really nice and enjoyable I would actually say there's there's almost chocolatey notes in there as well and that's me just picking that up last minute not a very good beer reviewer am I uh, so I've gone on way too long now 10 minutes I've probably bored you all terrible now on this one do apologize uh, so that's the West Mile Trappist Double, uh, available in Tesco's, £2.10 a bottle, bargain, if you like that darker beer. It's not a summer's drink, personally for me. Uh, it's when you're getting into sort of autumn, winter, these drinks come into their own, £2.10 and an absolute bargain and a lovely, comforting drink. You know what, do you know what? I could quite happily sit at home with a bloody big fat cottage pie and a bottle of that or a glass of that in my hand and I'd be well happy so anyway I'm going to shut up now I'm just talking way too long even Beaker's asleep so I do apologise for all this uh, like I said Tesco's £2.10 pick one up if you're thinking of getting one if you like them Belgium style beers you're going to love that because that's a very very good beer uh, if you're thinking of getting it Pick one up, Tesco's, £2.10. Where can you go? You know, £2.10. It's not exactly the end of the world stuff if it's wasted. If you've had the beer, let me know what you think. Uh, share my video, like my video, subscribe to my channel. Uh, I'm on Twitter, I'm on Facebook, all the beer, no idea, both of them. Uh, thanks to all the new subscribers. Sorry for waffling on again, yet again, yet again, yet again. And I will see you again on another beer review very soon. So, cheers.